vortex back down, down, down to the surface. It won't be anything sudden, just like a leaf drifting gently out of a tree, back down to the surface. And as you come down to the surface, I want you to tell me the very first thing you see down there below you, or the very first impression that you have as you land back down there below you. And what do you see down there below you? I'm standing on the floor with, I have a chair in front, a chair in front of me and I see a big, big table. So you see, uh, is this a, you see a big boardroom table like that and you have a chair that's for you then? Yes. Ah, uh, very good. And if you look around the table, who else do you see there? Is there anyone else sitting in, uh, already sitting or? They're coming in now. Ah, oh, very good. And as you see them coming in, what do they look like? Seems like they're from different races. Different places. Some of them I recognize. First come four females, very tall, beautiful females. How tall are you? Nine, ten feet. And are they taller than you, or are you all the same height? No, they're a little bit taller than me. Oh, very good. And I want you to look at yourself. Look at what you're wearing. Look at how your whole shining, very bright light. Oh, beautiful. And what about your, uh, your structure? What is your body like? Your hands, your head, your face? Very thin body and, well, very slender arms. say four women were approaching or female entities were approaching first? Yeah, they come in first and now they're coming more. There's these three men. Well, there's four men. Four men come in also of the women. So four men and four uh, females, and then you, that makes a nine. Is this a council of nine? I don't know. Very good. And the, the women that, that came through first, where did they go? Where did, did they sit at the table, or did they acknowledge you? They nodded at me and at a smile. Very good. It seems like they are some kind of some kind of leaders from their places. Oh, very good. Choose to be in this like a board meeting or something. And do they know why you're there? What is the reason for this gathering? Do they know uh, why you've come? I asked one of the ladies and she said it's, it's just another gathering. saying something like, 
we're gathering again for surveilling purposes to giving orders, no, giving directions for the light beings. Ah, oh, very good. Light workers. Excellent. And you are a part of this group, and so... Yes. And they're going to pass this information on to you that we can then pass on to everyone else then? Yeah, they're giving me some kind of... It's almost like a, some kind of iPad or something like that, but... No framing as a glass surface. Very good. And we have things to discuss. Excellent. And also be able to ask questions and get some answers. Very good. Well, first we'd like to let them go ahead with, with their agenda first. And if you could relay all the information that's being relayed to you, we would be very appreciative. And we're very thankful for their audience. They, they're talking about some increasing of, of work being done several planets in our in our galaxy what? I, I asked what galaxy and she said Milky Way you call it Milky Way okay so there are what some time? increasing uh, some increasing energy fields we, we, our planet is going through increasing energy fields now, and so is several other planets also. All is in a state of raising the consciousness. All is going into a higher frequency, and they have to they have to monitoring this uh, this process going on because is it, if some places having too much of it there can be chaos breaking out and that, that's not allowed to happen and we have to monitor it very closely and very thorough for that so not to happen when you come to these meetings, uh, do you come to these meetings often? In your astral body or in your light body? On and off, yes. I uh, don't get the time. I okay. It feels like I have been here many times. And what is your particular contribution to this, these efforts? I, I'm there to get the knowledge to spread amongst people on the planets. So you're doing work here on the Earth and on those other planets as well? Yes. I have many different tasks. I doing many different many different uh, uh, boards many different councils and communities uh, council, yeah she said communities yeah. oh very good and am I involved with these as well absolutely do they know what we're doing now here what you're doing they know everything about it okay what other, what other information are they relaying about uh, the process of these meet this particular meeting or this particular group? 
one of the ladies say she had question, questions for us. So yes. I, I, I said yes. We have question what's going on now. She think it's important that we are asking those questions because it's the right time for that to be relinquished. Rebe Rebe yeah, Rebe, she said. Oh, very good. Well, we were wondering, uh, there's a huge vibrational shift that seems to be taking place on the planet right now. And uh, how is it the uh, there seems to be an opposition that's doing everything that they can to avoid what seems inevitable. Um, how is it that that opposition has so, seems to have so much power, or is that just an illusion? It's a little bit of both, because they have the power to deceive or spreading lies about what's going on and they're, sh they're struggling to hold on to that old ideas of them but they are not going to be here for so long all that lower vibration is fading out they're fading out because there is not possible for them to stay on this planet when it raises to another I mentioned because the, the, it's not compatible with that frequency. There's a huge uh, program going on right now with such disinformation about particular type of extraterrestrials that we've been told before that have been totally exported off the off of the planet and certain technologies that they're using against us. I just keep wondering. Is, are these all lies, or why are they able to be able to use um, it's that? It's not directly a lie, but it's also disinformation because they are saying that they are doing this and they're doing that, but that they're not really doing it. It's just to spread fear because if you can control anyone, it's just you can do it by fear. If you frighten people, they will just hide and will not do the thing they are supposed to do. Yes, I was concerned with that myself. Uh, yes. Excuse me one moment. I'm going to take a quick break here, okay? And Lars, I want you to continue to uh, communicate. <coughs> excuse me. Receiving. We were talking about. I'm getting fascinated with how we talk because everybody talks at the same time, but it's so clear what, where it come from, and what message come from who is strange, but also familiar in a way. We all, all communicate telepathically. Am I in that group there? Any aspect of myself there? Yes, you are there. As a male or a female? You are here like uh, as a male. Oh, okay. You are a very old wise uh, entity. Wrinkly? Not wrinkly, but very. You have a very high level of knowledge and and holding high vibration of love. And before we get back to the 
questions just in terms of the description of you say these are 10 feet tall beings and uh, can, are they just energy energetic beings or do they have some type of physical they have a physical appearance but at the same time they can be everywhere it's, uh, in an instant so I really don't understand And uh, would you say, what, 12th or 11th dimensional, this particular group here? She say higher. Oh. Higher. Ask one, one time. How high? Uh, 13, she say 13, 13. Oh, very good. Uh, and I ask her, where is this place? And we are. We are on a physical uh, celestial body in our in our galaxy, but not on on our planet, on another planet. And we just uh, condensed our our uh, vibration to be able to for you to have a reference point. Yes. Oh, very good. It's easy. To Whatever we need to bring forth. So the more and more you have these sessions, the easier and easier it is for you to go higher and higher. She said, "You, you, you know, you can go whenever you desire to be." So, as we have these meetings going on. It's really hard to uh, judge, what do you think, linear, linearly, uh, this process from that perspective? It is very hard to do that because that, that uh, perspective of time does not exist in a real, we, we think of time as a linear. But time is not linear. Time is the future, the past, and everything between. Here and now. Yeah. Understood. So, but we know that your people, in that density you are now, want to have answer linearly. And we would try to do that as best as we can. We understand. There's just so much torture actually going on. There's so much pain. How long is that gonna that gonna be able to that will that be able to last? Are we still collectively choosing that, and that's why we still keep experiencing it? Some community in, in, in on the planet is struggling because they have so many issues they have to get rid of and clear out before they are able to descend in a, any way because they have this <laughs> they have different diseases going on in, in different areas and we're helping with that to clear that out but there is also many that struggling to take this to heart and there is so many that need to work with the fear of what's going on because they think they think they are separated from everything but they first of all need to understand that every living energy is connected but they're struggling with that because they feel so separated and they feel so lonely. So they think they are f almost fighting for their survivors, surviving, but it's not true because everyone has the possibility to decide if they want to leave this fear behind. But it's still a big issue among you in 
many different areas, but it's lighting enough. Even the different governments on the planet is starting to think in a different way, starting to think in the term of we instead of us, and loosening up many knots that being tied just to hide so much information from the masses. But I now started to lighting up in their hearts. More and more information is going to be revealed. And some very important messages is going to be revealed very soon for you. And we say soon, we're talking about a year. I, I just keep, uh, today I was listening to Barbara Marciniak. She's always saying that she speaks for the Palladians. And she goes, oh, you guys are going to be in this turmoil for another 10 years. And, you know, just the thought of that makes me want to cut my wrist, you know. Uh, that's not possible because all that energy that's going to ho- try to hold it back is just fear and we're clearing that out now. You're going through so much energy, so strong energy field, and you're beamed by so much love and frequency of high vibration that it's not possible for them to even stay in that because they are they are fading away and as we some of of them will just die. Understood. And that's their way to get away from what's happening. And they, they choose that. We are not killing anyone. They're doing it themselves. And then basically, even after they pass, I mean, they're eternal and they're also divine sparks of the one. So they... Of course they are. Everyone is. And they are going to keep on... Maybe they stay in that state for a while to adjust and see what they were struggling to keep, why they were struggling to keep that low density. And as soon they realize, they will just have the opportunity to relocate where, wherever they want to be. Oh, very good. It's this process of being able to, uh, the process of duality or the illusion of separation, how it was collectively decided by all of us, is that correct? Not exactly all of you, but many. You have been deceived by that type of energy that wanted to create power around themselves. And many of them were in a leading position in governments and even by by your military, different military area. And now that is changing. They did a lot of bad things with you many, many years, and that's not happening. They're trying to keep some small fraction of this going on, but it's just also fading away because it's so obvious for many of you now what has happened and what is going on. So they are not going to be able to hide it for the masses anymore. It will be so obvious what they are doing. So they just have to stop it. Wow, very good. So this energy, this energy uh, that we're going through, what, what, what will you, what will it look like? What will we look like on the other side of this? Will we need technology? And I may have asked this before, but since we're at such a higher dimension than we were when I asked the last time, I think maybe a better answer could come forward. And I so I ask again. What will we it look like? What will we look like on the other side of this uh, vibrational shift? Because are we shifting vibrationally higher? 
Yes, you do, and all the planet also. And so the planet is expanding also in size, so there, there can be a lot of activity by the tectonic plates and, and uh, as you say, natural catastrophe, but we will protect the people. And in order to protect the people, there will have to be uh, dense, a uh, dense or uh, entities, extraterrestrials, or extra-dimensionals who can actually uh, physically manifest here on this planet in order to help. They are already there, but we can also see that things don't happen too sudden and too explosive. We will see that it will go gradually. We will see to that. That's what I, uh, it keeps floating in my mind and out of my mind as I listen to you speak um, in terms of, I know that there are, you say, physical entities that are here on the planet that are actually helping us. I mean, and I'm talking in terms of extraterrestrial.